Developing now a mass shooting overnight in Baton Rouge leaves one man dead and multiple people injured. Welcome to 9 News at 10. I'm Dion Guillory. We're told that gunfire was reported just before 4 o'clock this morning at what's being called an after hours club on Greenwell Springs Road near Platt Drive. As Ethan Tuttle explains, neighbors say they're fed up. It's, a, it's been going on for like two, two months now, two or three months. Like, it's crazy. People living near Greenwell Springs Road and Platt Drive say they're feeling uneasy after a shooting that had multiple victims. It happened overnight at what's being called an after hours club. We're on this app called Next Door 2, and it's a lot of people in this area that complain about uh, actually a couple of people that stay on Platt. They've moved because of it because they're always parked in those parking lots, blasting their music loud, you know, standing out there drinking, whatever, throwing their trash everywhere. The crime scene had signs like this saying, quote, no weapons, no loitering, no loud music. But that hasn't been observed by patrons, according to several neighbors, including Norman. We, we pay to live here. We didn't pay for that. You know what I'm saying? We didn't pay to have music blasting all night, every night, every weekend. You know what I'm saying? We still trying to get rest. We trying to sleep. People work. Norman says he has reason to believe there shouldn't be an after hours club operating late at night and early in the morning behind the neighborhood in the first place. I mean, honestly, me, I think there's not even a place to have something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a residential neighborhood. A residential area filled with people of all ages. There's a lot of older people that stay around here. Like, we don't want to hear that all night, you know? And we have kids over here. And just like last night, it was a shooting. Like, anything could have happened. Ethan Tuttle, WAFB 9 News. Now, the Baton Rouge Police Department says they could not specify exactly how many people were hurt in that shooting or the nature of the victim's injuries. 